today we are going to um, have a seminar on Middle East education and job fair 2020. And I want to thank a few people to make this um, even possible. And uh, they, these are my sweet panelists, uh, the technical team, Berkeley Middle East Holding in Middle East, uh, Berkeley Me Global in UK, Berkeley California in US, and training and consultancy divisions. They really work hard uh, to bring all this content and the people on board uh, so they can explain all this beautiful uh, information to the candidates. This is um, a very, very famous course in Middle East mainly, uh, but it's growing in China and already United States. This is called CMA, uh, Certified Management Accountant. So uh, let me introduce you with the panel. Uh, in our panel, we have uh, the amazing uh, uh, guy, which is really uh, it's always uh, uh, great help and um, a very source of inspiration for me. So, yes, Akram, can you introduce yourself, please? Uh, thank you, Mr. Musa, for inviting me. Such a great, uh, you know, uh, a panel and a panel member as a, and uh, also, uh, obviously, the Berkeley is giving me this opportunity to discuss about the CMA and something uh, which is uh, the students have the misconception and misunderstanding about CMA USA as compared to other CMA, which is belongs to the Pakistan, India, Australia, and Canada. Obviously, this is the most different and uh, the professional contents, which is uh, defined by the IMA, which I want to discuss here after my introduction. I have like uh, more than 10 years experience in my, uh, as a accountancy and finance teacher and trainer. Uh, with this duration, I uh, teach most of the qualification like MCOM, BCOM, ACCA, CA Pakistan, CPA Pakistan, and also here uh, CPA USA, CMA. But uh, I feel that uh, the, uh, uh, the most important thing for CMA USA uh, nowadays, you know, the, uh, they are, uh, the good thing is they are upgrading their contents according to the market demand. And uh, you know that in the Middle East, uh, obviously the, the IMA is the world, uh, you know, the best leading organization, which is uh, providing the management accounting and financial management uh, associate degrees and certificates. So as per the uh, uh, requirement for the, you know, current jobs and uh, career for the professional student, Obviously, they want to get a, uh, you know, highly demand certificate, which is very important to get their, uh, you know, uh, the, the jobs in, you know, the current basis. Uh, the, every organization wants the professional accountant. Obviously, with the, your qualification like bachelor in commerce, like master in commerce, this is not a sufficient to get a good job or work as a professional accountant or finance. Uh, 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 you know, uh, the first candidate. So uh, just uh, we have uh, now Miss Rickwell, just uh, I want to introduce herself to, uh, then I will uh, start my presentation Indeed. that why we want uh, uh, the CMA USA, what is the, uh, you know, difference between the other certification as, as compared to CMA USA. Yes, Raquel, please, can you introduce yourself very quickly? Uh, all right. Uh, can you hear me, doctor? Yes, yes, yeah. please go ahead. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Or good evening from Abu Dhabi. <laughs> uh, indeed, this is a wonderful day. October 10, 2020. It's, uh, oh, that's I a really unique nice day today, yes. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the opportunity to be part of this event. Um, actually, I am Raquel Imbudo. Um, I am from the Philippines. Yeah, mm. I'm a working mother of two daughters we are all living here in UAE for 13 years now yeah the and reason I, I i actually invite you is one of you you pick it that you are uh, when i saw you the first time 
uh, you had one baby that time and during your studies you got another baby and I can understand that it's really really hard to do a proper accountancy job and giving a raise to two uh, energetic kids so you are actually going to be an inspiration for all upcoming women who feel stuck because of having kids. A lot of time tells uh, my students, my um, surrounding the ladies that don't get panic, don't get, uh, don't feel blocked, uh, keep uh, moving and uh, uh, one day you will get successful. So I want to tell them that if uh, your story is actually an interesting story, which of course you are going to share. So let's uh, Akram. Uh, share about his thoughts about the curriculum that uh, why CMA uh, looks different and it's handy and what are the topics and then we will might continue the feedback. That's it. Thank you so much for this. I want to share my screen. Yes, I hope everyone can see the screen. Uh, this is we, we, we just now starting to talk about the CMA US. So why we are talking about this, that uh, why the CMA USA is uh, better than any of other uh, certificate, uh, which is, you know, belongs to the other countries. And uh, the especially uh, the CMA, this certificate is American certificate, which is provided by the IMA. And if we talk about the IMA, IMA is the world leading association for management accounting and finance professionals. Uh, and uh, uh, obviously, IMA has mutual recognition agreement with the ICWA, uh, which is the, based on the India. If you have the ICWA, you can get 100% exemption from your papers. And obviously, if you go with the ICWA, it will take you three years to finish this. So my uh, recommendation to get the CMA within this short of period of time, which we will discuss later, and uh, IMA have the mutual recognition agreement with the CGA uh, Canada, CGA Canada, CGA Canada means Certified General Accountant. Okay, so everyone is asking that uh, how we can get this certificate and what is the eligibility criteria. Uh, if uh, we will talk about the eligibility criteria about the uh, what is the educational requirement. The based on two, uh, you know, the things like we, we, we are talking about, if you are a bachelor, you have a bachelor degree from accredited college or university, uh, even if uh, this bachelor is not, uh, you did not study uh, accounts, finance or commerce, still you can take the exam, you can get the certificate and you can uh, get the uh, CMA designation. And even this CMA, Obviously, we talk about that this is for non-finance professionals also. And uh, other one is if you have the professional certificate, but because some of the students, they are directly after intermediate, they are uh, starting the ACCA qualification, which is the, you know, uh, UK based uh, professional certificate. Uh, obviously, th uh, there is no bachelor degree required for getting this ACCA uh, for uh, certification. So obviously, if you have this ACCA, uh, if you are a ACCA member, uh, so obviously th there is no need to, to be a graduate for getting the CMA designation. So even the CMA uh, for the exam, uh, for exam uh, point of view, uh, even your bachelor degree is in process and you still did not get your result. You can take the exam. Okay, once you uh, get the degree, after getting the degree, you can, uh, you will be awarded the CMA certificate, but with some experience requirement. There is uh, obviously, if you have a professional experience in management accounting and financial management uh, for the two years, but uh, not more than seven years, like within seven years, you have to provide two years professional experience before passing the CMA or after the passing CMA. So you will get, you will be awarded a CMA certificate. Okay. 
so everyone is asking that maybe some uh, people are thinking like this cma course is just only defined for the accountants auditor finance or commerce student but uh, i will define you in a uh, two uh, major thing like every professional and student they can get the uh, cma certificate and they can get the benefit for cma designation as well like here we talk about like uh, even in my duration teach training uh, duration uh, many of uh, i see my student uh, are the managers of uh, different uh, uh, you know multinational company they want to uh, get this certificate even the matter is not only the certificate the matter is the contents which is defined by the ima which is very very professional uh, you know uh, the contents which we will uh see about uh in the next slide upcoming slide so if we talk about the program structure obviously the cma is divided in two parts part first which is related with the financial planning performance and analytics so that uh, the course is defined with the, you know the uh, weightage the weightage 100% weightage is defined with the sub category the external financial reporting the cm which is uh, we can say the weight is 15% cost management 15 planning performance management also both are 2020 internal control 15 and technology and analytics is 15 similar we can say that the strategic financial management which is the second part of this cma program uh, it's defined with the sub category financial statement analysis which will be uh, get the weight of 20% and uh, investment decision corporate finance decision analysis risk management and professional ethics this is the course outline for the both part so if we describe in the more uh, you know view so we can see that in external financial reporting decision there is the basically two part it define the financial statement every uh, you know accountant uh, accountancy student or finance student they know that financial statement is divided in basic four parts like uh, income statement balance sheet statement of cash flow statement of uh, owners equity so all of these statement we will go with this and uh, the second part is recognition measurement valuation and disclosure so obviously the recognition and measurement is related to the revenue recognition asset valuations all these we will uh, we will learn uh, uh, from this section if we talk about the planning budgeting and forecasting obviously in, in this topic we will go with the planning uh, how we can develop a budget how we can forecast our uh, you know revenues and uh, uh, expenses so annual profitability plan budgeting income statement budgeted uh, pro forma income statement pro forma balance sheet uh we can say all of uh, the budgeting techniques we will uh, learn from these uh, contents another part we can say the performance management which is divided in the cost and uh, variance measures uh, because in variance measures we we learn about many of things that how the standard price we uh, we selected for the budget and what is the actual is coming so we are taking the differences so this one Uh, the most uh, the good thing in this uh, area that everyone knows that whenever he want to take a decision or he want to buy something he want to manufacture something they are setting their standard rates they are setting their budget and then uh, uh, whenever the actual result is coming they are comparing the actual result with their standard or budget rates then they can find that uh, they are on a right track or wrong track or where is the difference so this is the most uh, you know the uh, key uh, area for getting this type of knowledge for uh, for you know as a professionally uh, professional student or as a professional uh, you know the uh, we can say that uh, the cost management cost management we can say uh, the cost management is divided in 15% the weight of this cost management which is the measurement concept costing techniques like uh, costing techniques like uh, job costing uh, process costing this all we already if you are uh, uh, you know 
the commerce student you already learned in the bachelor uh, uh, you know bachelor qualification also that these are the basic basic techniques and this is very easy to learn and to take the exam to get this certificate and obviously uh, nowadays this is the highly demanded certificate and you can get the better job as well with this certificate uh, this is the uh, internal control and technology uh, technology and analytics see the most important why i suggest this uh, cma usa because they are upgrading with the passage of time with the uh, market requirement like in recent years from january 2020 they added some uh, you know contents more contents before that it was 14 contents now uh, now the uh, course is defining with the 16 contents so the most important like in financial uh, external financial reporting they added integrated reporting which is very very you know the highly demanded reporting uh, in all over the multinational uh, you know companies now the investor or uh, you know the uh, creditors or external parties they don't want to seek to know that the you know traditional reports which is defining with the income statement balance sheet cash flow they are uh, you know as a recent you know survey they see that every investor every external party they see first of all integrated reporting in integrated reported obviously uh you know the uh, the, uh, the in integrated reporting they are defining the company strategy the company strategy is uh, you know governance and we can say why we uh, we, need, uh, we are reporting this integrated reporting because they are creating the value in the mar market in short term medium term or long term and obviously now they added the technology and analytics because they want to uh, teach them that Uh, now our days the technology is the essential part of your you, you know in accountancy field and in all over the field even so if you have this uh, technology or analytics information related to it so obviously this will be helpful for you because most of the system now our days is online or we can say the computer based so everything you have to know that that uh, which system will help to you to minimize your burden or minimizing your uh, uh, you know the workload so obviously like uh, nowadays erp and uh, other computing softwares also is uh, helping to uh, 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 mean to say overhauling this load so if we talk about the second part which is the very uh, dominant part the strategic financial management we can say in part first we are uh, we are knowing to how to report in second part we can say how to analyze the report so in this area obviously there is the weightage also in financial statement analysis we are defining the financial statement analysis like uh, you know that uh, the horizontal and uh, vertical analysis how we can reporting the income statement and balance sheet all of this and uh, here is financial ratios also obviously ratios are very important to know the result that uh, how our asset are utilizing how the company solvency and liquidity positions so obviously if you know about the financial ratios analysis obviously it will helpful for the management or managers to take a uh, you know wise decision for the business so profitability analysis special issues are also a part of the financial statement analysis if we talk about the corporate finance obviously like everyone knows that uh, uh, like everyone want to become a investor nowadays because they want to seek the alternative investment even if they are working or if they are uh, you know sitting at home they want to earn from external source so obviously they want to know that how i can take the risk and what will be the return for taking that risk so obviously in short term we can say that the high risk high high return a low risk low return so based on this obviously everyone knows that which investment is riskier for him and how and uh, uh, how much the you, you know weightage of return they can get 
uh, for taking this risk. So obviously nowadays everyone knows that even the professional managers and all these they want to know. For decision analysis, obviously cost, volume, profitability analysis, marginal analysis. Like for example, if you are if you want to open a new branch, if you want to open a, a company for yourself. Obviously, you want to know that what will be your break, uh, uh, breakdown, uh, breaking analysis. Obviously, you need to know that how much the fixed cost you have to bear for uh, achieving this uh, or surviving this, uh, your business in the market. Another one is risk management. Obviously, the risk management is the most important part. That uh, obviously everyone wants to take the risk, but. Uh, you know, the wise person or the uh, professional manage, uh, managers, they want to minimize the risk. Okay, they want the return, obviously, but they want to minimize the risk also. Obviously, in this uh, content, we will uh, uh, we will have to know that, that what will be the risk management, how to minimize your risk. So another part is investment decision. This is the most important that whenever uh, anyone want to invest his money or time obviously they want to know that uh, how much the return or how much uh, uh, like uh, in what uh, time period of uh, uh, duration they will return back his investment so obviously this is the uh, 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 time to take the decision for taking the investment Another one is the obviously everyone uh, in a business environment, they want to learn the business ethics. This is very important. Sometimes uh, in business uh, environment, there is uh, something else. As a student, we can say that we know that everything. But in business environment, you have to learn about the business ethics, like how to report your management, how to report your senior how to live in the business environment, how you deal with the customers, suppliers, and external parties. Okay, so in- Oh, that's great, Akram. Uh, I think you explain it so nicely and I think all has get a great value out of it. So <clears throat> uh, in terms of CMA, what uh, we can see that um, as a Berkeley, we are the pioneers in producing CMAs. We are the highest pass students uh, in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia, and Oman, Qatar as well. And uh, with all our faculty and um, our beautiful students, uh, this course is really rocking. It's a very short course. You can finish in six months, uh, unlike other courses, which takes um, a lot of time. And as you explain the content, contents are really beautiful and yeah. it makes you properly like a strategic uh, manager. That's great. That's so, great. So, uh, let's move towards the Rizwan. I want to concise with this uh, for yeah, sure, uh, sure. Exam format, exam sure. duration, and date. The exam yes. format is very simple and in a sequence. Like mm -hmm. there is a three window in a year, January, February, May, June, and September and October. You can take uh, of part or both of part in a one window. Like uh, within six to nine months, you can get this certificate. But obviously the uh, scale, exam scale marks is, you have to get 360 passing marks out of 500 which if we convert into, into percentage, which is defined in the 72%. And uh, for the exam criteria for part one and two, both are similar, like 100 MCQs, this is the computer-based exam, 100 MCQs and two essay questions will count. And uh, if we define further, like 100 MCQs, the weight, weight of 100 MCQs will be the 75% and essay question will be 25%. So exams, will, the duration of exam will be the four hours per part. So this is very economical as well. That our, we, if we talk about the fee exam fees, uh, the entrance, just only one time entrance fee is $250, which is very economical as compared to other certificate and qualification. And if you are a member, professional member, you have to pay $245 each. And for two exams, obviously, whenever you book the exam, you have to uh, give the exam fee uh, 415 per part only. 
So, so I are, think it's a very economical course and yeah, you can do throughout the year. And uh, highly demanded certificate. Like, for example, now I have a sister companies also that whenever we are hiring the students uh, for the accountants and assistant accountants, we are taking interview. And believe me, I take two CMA student interview, which is, you know, they are showing also that they have something to do for company. Oh, so that's, is, that's why we are just recommended that if you get this CM, if you have a time to get this certificate, this is for you that if you are coming to Middle East for finding a job uh, or finding a good professional uh, experience, you ha you must have to get this certificate. And that's great, Akram. That's very much it's kind of you. And this is very insightful. I think everyone will uh, get a great value. So I will move towards uh, our new panelist, uh, Rizwan. Rizwan is a qualified CMA from Berkeley, Middle East. And mm -hmm. Rizwan, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, first of all, I would like to good uh, evening to everyone. And uh, I'm Rizwan Ahmad. I did uh, BCom in my uh, bachelor's and a CMA from obviously the great Mr. Musa. So, but actually, he motivated me uh, before doing the CMA. I visited uh, several places like institutes uh, to do my qualification. And after uh, all, uh, I find uh, Berkeley Middle East shortlist to do the CMA because I whenever you like uh, I when I came there. Uh, like to be in Berkeley, I feel that you, it's the institute which can help us in a good uh, environment. Also, it was very good. So uh, the CMA give you advantage and it gives you confidence in your body language when you become a CMA certified management accountant. It's a U.S. qualification, as you know, and it's uh, like uh, like uh, acceptable everywhere. Uh, it's uh, like a global uh, qualification, which is like acceptable so the and uh, i would like to must share my experience uh, through uh, like studying berkeley under mr musa obviously like and you give but like I, I what i will say that you are like guideline providing you you are to your to your students like it's, it's so important especially when we are going for examination i did a meeting with you before going there and you tell me whatsoever it really helpful at the time so I will 100% uh, recommend Berkeley for especially CMA, not only CMA, when I, I took some parts of the CGPA also, but uh, because of my some own problem, I like uh, unable to still continue because you could say the COVID, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, obviously, and I once again joined Berkeley. Why? When you are coming to Berkeley, it seems that Ber you are part of a Berkeley. Everyone on this institute. So it's a That's kind of you like, uh, you <clears throat> That's so Rizwan, uh, tell me like uh, before CMA and after CMA, did you feel a change in yourself? Yes, yes, there's very like a big change and positive change. You become like confidence, like you can uh, become a issue resolver, you can say. And you, are, uh, you, can, you give your inputs in your company and you give suggestions to your company as well, how to like to see in that, uh, did, did, uh, what I will say that second, side of the picture, you can say, you can show your company, which they are not knowing without like a professional qualified. They are just looking at the like somewhere to uh, the profit only like, but the, you are, when you are showing, uh, showing like somewhere, the cost is more than your profit, but you are uh, so showing them the other picture, but, but it's not the real uh, like your uh, profit. In other words, when you will see this, uh, the second side of the picture, you will, you are in loss. So uh, these mm -hmm. type of pictures you can create and imaginations and you give your input to your company and which owns obviously and they realize it. After mm -hmm. doing the CMA, this thing come after uh, doing my CMA, as you know. Mm. That's great. I think you are one of the brightest students who did CMA like this and uh, uh, hopefully you will finish your CPA very soon and uh, uh, you are a great inspiration for the, those people. Uh, who really feel difficult to study, but they manage their resources and they pass it at uh, one shot. So uh, I think people has uh, uh, to people need to take motivation from you that uh, on a such a strong level you uh, pass it and uh, you get a great value out of the CMA.
So what is your advice for the next coming uh, students? Obviously, actually, if for like who don't have any like uh, uh, professional qualification, it's uh, an easy step to take this EMA. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not too much difficult. You just need a uh, little attention, but con consecutively. Like if you will uh, take it li uh, like other uh, academic qualifications, it will not work. So you need to mm -hmm. a little bit to work hard for and it's the first step towards your uh, first professional qualification. So you must add this qualification in your CV. It will work to you. Obviously, the people will, and when you, like the doctors write, doctor, you will write that the CMA under your name. Obviously, you will feel uh, happy and glad to see that when you will add in your CV, CMA, and plus your name and your own existing card as well, uh, mm -hmm. under your name, CMA USA. So you'll feel proud. Mm -hmm. So you, who don't have any qualification, like professional qualification, they should, uh, must come and join. And I will recommend Berkeley. That's so nice of you, Rizwan, and thanks for joining us. And I'm looking forward to have you more and more in my next shows. Thank so you. now I will move. I will move towards Raquel, and uh, I know the babies are uh, speaking from behind, and it's difficult to control them for a long period of time. So I will not uh, bother you much. So can you share your experience? How you come across CMA? How you come across Berkeley? And uh, your success story. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. Yes, it is an exciting journey. I am glad to share to you my experience uh, regarding my pursuit towards CMA certification. I'm currently uh, working as a senior accountant in a leading health insurance company in Abu Dhabi. And uh, it seems like for the many ex years of experience that I have, I feel like I want to enhance my knowledge and update myself as you can see the industry is changing like you know artificial intelligence are there blockchain or whatever and especially in this pandemic you know you need to have an edge against any of uh, uh, your competency has to be high and uh, that is the main reason why i chose CME, and i never regretted it and another one is to prepare myself for higher scopes in the future and as a mother you know it is really uh, not easy to achieve this goal <laughs> because uh, juggling between priorities, um, having a family and um, uh, work and you need to balance and you have my, uh, like my determination, my attitude towards my study has been tested. And this is a quite uh, a really an achievement. And I have done the review myself, but then I did not, uh, it, it failed. And so I find it, I'm looking for a partner during that time. And I, I found Berkeley. This is the first institute who offered me scholarship program, you know. And it is oh, a you big got uh, the scholarship. That's great. Yeah, yeah. That's Thank amazing. you for that, Dr. Musa. I will never forget that. And because of that scholarship, you know, I was inspired to push myself even harder. And even if I have a daughter, <laughs> I have to work hard because uh, although uh the partner is there institute is there you need to work hard for yourself to pass the exam is not easy the questions are not all about memorizing formulas or just familiarize the the content you need to understand and by heart it something that i have learned along you know when i studied i have learned a lot like how i have to understand and comprehend and even I tried it in my workplace. I have to explain it to my colleague until they will understand. So, uh, so this is my measurement on how I understand the topic. When I can explain it to my colleague, then that means I understood the whole topic in that particular um, CMA course. This uh, course really is a big help for me. That along my study, it helps me in my work, in my decision making you know, in my problem solving. So yeah, it is really a recommended course for uh, finance and accounting professionals like me. Um, uh, I, I think it is uh, important for you to get this. And, and Berkeley, if you are having financial difficulty, you can speak to Berkeley. <laughs> Maybe they'll give you some amount of, uh, you know, discount. And oh, this, is, this is actually, I want to, I want to add here. All Filipinos are my sisters. 
and uh, any time they feel a brother i am here you know so in terms of jobs in terms of uh, education you should tell everyone that uh, if they don't have money to study there is musa sheikh who can um, assist them to any level we will teach them no one should be uneducated because they don't have resources and last couple of years of course we we have helped a lot and uh, uh, it's a equal owner like uh, uh, we want to build a human resource and they they become better their families get benefits so this is all satisfaction that we get from these scholarships yeah, yeah please go ahead yeah. Yeah, I think that is so. Uh, uh, what uh, my message to all the CME aspirants out there, on those who are not thinking anything yet, uh, you have to decide to take this. Even if you are a working mom like me, I think uh, it is the best time, especially now that most of the companies they are giving um work from home facility, you know, this uh, benefit. Um, it is the best time to to take this course, I believe. And uh, it will really change uh, the way how you think of yourself. Even if there's no promotion, okay, fine. Promotion will come maybe next year or after next year. But at least yourself is ready. You will be ready for any opportunities that will come along your, in your life. So that's what I could share to you right now. That's great, okay. I'm, I'm so glad to see you after a long time. And... Yeah. Um, uh and i must uh, appreciate your honest uh, feedback and your contribution and your sharing and i always appreciate that whenever we need you to speak you are always there that's a great uh, care that we always feel about you and um, uh, and i hope and in the future also we will keep it uh, continued yeah so thank you very much and uh, enjoy yourself